right, well, it's just the two lamps. Now, I posted something on Facebook, a video I made with my Concord. And yes, it's real. Amazingly, one person asked, Is that real? Why would I waste my time getting a fake con? I don't even know if they make them. I have, I've never actually seen one. No, I, wait, 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 wait. I think I saw a guy holding one claiming this was a Chinese Concord. I'm like, why would you buy it? Why? <laughs> the only reason I play mine is because the story, you know? It's, it's, when they were making the relics, I begged. I said, please, let me just take one out and put my own stuff in it. My own pickups, bridge, da 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 And it turned out to be more, probably one of the best sounding guitars ever. I mean, it's got a, uh, it's got a, it's called a custom custom, a Seymour Duncan, because I don't like the Duncan distortions, they don't sound good in everything, they really don't. So what I wanted was a, a warm Van Halen-y sound, first album, he peaked right there, you tell me when his guitar sounds better, it doesn't, first album, a little bit more Grr. and it took three times for uh what's her name to get it right at, at uh seymour duncan but i had nothing else to do and i said this is going into a concord uh you know roads so and you know that is all maple it's very heavy it's all maple and no one else is ever gonna play it but me so don't ask about borrowing it you can borrow this for Rhodes Tribute. That'd be weird. Or you, I'm never going to do the white one again. That one's done. The only thing I'd maybe let someone play would be the uh, Polka Dot uh, Les Paul. So... I've got because I'm too lazy to hook up the effects is uh, the mimic, which just is a you know gives it a like a whatever millisecond delay between the two amps, and it's the Code 50 and the uh, this is the PV Viper. I took out the 6505 because it's too noisy. Let's see how quiet it is. I'm not dealing with any tubes. So I don't really have much to say, you know, I jammed with that guy, he took off on tour, I've been sending him songs, I haven't heard from him in a few days, but he's on tour, and, uh, you know, so I'm cutting him that break, you know, who, you know, this is a drummer, uh, he's a good drummer, I hope we can work together, it's just that you know, the stuff that I've been dealing with with drummers for the past few years, they're all insane. The young ones don't know what to do, don't know what I want, the young, young ones. The old ones are try to overplay. This guy's the best one I've found in five years of looking. I've only been looking for five years because I've only been confident with my guitar playing since 2016 that I could pull off doing something, recording something, playing, whatever. Mainly, I just want to record. I want to get these 10 or 12 songs, mainly 10, down. And they're all done. You know, the one that I was messing with before my back went out, right now, I got this giant 
ice pack. Um, I blew my back out. I don't know how. It was like a week ago. And it got worse Thursday. And then by Friday, I could barely walk. And that's when I had to go to see Static X, the Resurrection Tour, with my son. And that place, uh, Catch One, is a crap hole. But the management was very cool. And they put me right next to the, like, the bass player was where the camera is. And I'm sitting here in a chair with my cane. In horrific friggin' pain. That all adds. But, I mean, they were raping people. Parking was $40. The tickets were 30 And then they went for 35 And when we got down there, the both parking was just about ready to sell out. One was 40 They were sold out. The $25 one just opened up. And I said, $25, dude. So... You know, we haggled, but, you know, didn't have time because we got there just in time to get in, sit down. My son found a place to stand because he wanted to shoot, you know. Where I was, you would have just gotten the side, but I was fine. I was sitting there, and I kind of know Tony Campos. Not as well as Wayne, but the whole story is, is my old drummer auditioned for Static X. That's how I got to meet him. So, you know, me and Wayne hit it off when we figured, you know, Kiss. So we started talking about Kiss, and he's a big Kiss, but da da So is Tony. If you look, Tony's got a gene thing on this arm, and, you know, because I showed him my horrific gene. I drew that on my arm, drunk, and then had the guy tattoo it. You shouldn't tattoo. You don't tattoo people when they're drunk. But that's what happened, and so Tony was cool, and... You know, he threw me a pick, so I got a pick, I got a drumstick, this girl's begging for the drumstick, the drumstick. <laughs> There's a joke there somewhere. She was cute, blue hair, uh, she was crazy. She says, I'm going to get picks from everybody and uh, drumsticks. I'm like, good luck with that. And she would jump onto the stage, grab a pick, and jump right onto me. And then hide behind me. And the guy, the bouncer guy is just like, oh, for First time he almost came down and then she took off. Then she did it again. So she just started at the far end, got the guitar player, got the zero guy, and then got Tony's pick. Or no, she didn't get Tony's pick. And Tony threw me a pick. It hit my hand and I'm, I'm lame. And it went right down. So I put my foot on it and everybody's looking for it. And then finally I bent over and I'm like, looking for this idiot. <laughs> Put it in my pocket. So it was cool. And then, uh, you know, I'm so I'm sitting there, and the show's wrapping up. It's late. They were supposed to be off at 12, and they got off, you know, like almost 1. But it was a good show. It was really good. If you guys like Static X, or even know who they are, if you don't, listen. Listen to something off of, listen to Loser. I think it's called Loser. Off uh, Wisconsin Death Death Trip, the first uh, I'm with Stupid. That's what it's called. I'm with Stupid is such a great song. Look at the video. Just watch the video. You know these guys were, you know, they should have been huge, but friggin' Wayne, man. So when my drummer went down, his problem was he didn't like playing to a click, and they play to a click because there's so many things. You know, this was back in the friggin' nineties. And Wayne was setting all this up. So they all had to have earpieces in to hear the click. So di when different things had to be triggered and all that crap. And you could hear Wayne was, they had Wayne's voice in the background. But this guy, the guy, he's basically the singer for Dope. He's wearing a wig. He's got an iron mask on with, you know, it looks cool. And some gigs he's got a fake goatee hanging like uh wayne's and others like when we saw him didn't bother i guess it was just like it was too late too hot <laughs> so he threw the wig on him and the mask and he wears all black and he jumps up and down and, and it's really cool it's a very cool tribute i like wayne i used to run into him down at this like denny's type place called harry's all the time 
especially when he got married. But he moved right into Burbank when they got signed in the 90s. And, you know, I left and came back. But I always worked here. And I'd go to Harry's, um, you know, when I was working here for dinner. And he'd be there, and i go talk to him about it. i keep trying to get guitars off him. Because the guitars... Uh, this is a lot of stuff about that. Anyways, I had a good time. And at the end, they started throwing... The crew started throwing, like, cables and mics to me. And I'm like, why are they doing... I looked exactly like the tour manager. <laughs> so that paid off because... I got a Sure FM... S, a Sure... SM58. What the hell? So I got a pick, gave that to my son, kept the microphone, check out the stick. There you go. It was cool. Just, it was so hot, I almost, I thought I was going to die. And all this with the back pain. So right now, my back is hurting. And so I, I want to stop already, but I'm just going to jam. I'm going to do some stupid stuff because I haven't really uh, jammed. But listen, Robert, I asked you a bass line for rock and R&R &R legend, the song that I'm playing with the drummer, not the bass line for Eternal Darkness. I already know what I'm going to do. And the one that I put down is just so I could get a taste or try to hear it the bass with the guitar and i it's accomplished with me i got i know what i have to do now and everything's cool but i you know you're like slide up to g of course <laughs> not like that though because i got a delay but i want you to do the bass line for rock and roll legend the one the freaking song i'm playing with the drummer I already know what I'm doing with. I'm a great bass player. Bass, I ain't. I don't have any problems. I'll be able to lay those down easy once the guitar and the drums are done. Because then, because the drums have to be done unless you've got some incredible bass line, which none of these have. One might, but that's to be seen. So that's it. I, I've seen. I watched. Uh, let's see, Static X. 